Hi guys, I'm gonna do a quick haul. <sighs> Jack is barking, <laughs> he wants to eat dinner. But I'm gonna do this quick haul and then I'm going to edit some other videos that I did last week that I still have yet to upload and some stuff is already sold. So I kinda wanna do a couple just like voiceovers just to let you know what things are, are selling for. So, if you're new here, I'm Kimberly. I'm a part-time reseller and I'm here in West Virginia. If you're interested in seeing how reselling works for me, being in a place where I don't have access to great inventory, meaning I don't have access to like higher end brands, luxury brands, or really great bait brands in abundance. I do find some gems here and there, obviously. Um, but if I just wanna stay local and not drive, you know, an hour, 45 minutes to an hour to some really great thrift stores, I kinda gotta work with, with what I have here because I work full time. So if you're interested in seeing how just Kind of being a bread and butter reseller can work for you and you can actually make a living um, or just supplement your income, which is what I do. Then click on that little subscribe button and you'll be alerted when I upload new videos. I'm just starting out. This is March 2023 and I think I have like three or four videos up. So I'm just starting this channel and I hope to grow the channel and just offer kind of what I know and my knowledge and what I'm doing and what works for me. And hopefully, you know, you just learn a thing or two along the way. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. All right. Oh, and I'm like notorious for bad buys. So yeah, I will, when I grab an item and I'm, believe me, I'm going to let you know. Yeah, this is a bad buy. This is a good buy. These are super cute, real funky, just fun little booties. They almost have that dance co um, kind of vibe, don't they? They are by Earth. They're size uh, women's six and a half. Just super cute. I could totally see these with jeans, but I can also see them like with like a little floral, um, like midi dress or even like mini dress just kind of a flowy kind of that cottage core look even though I guess you know cottage core it's not as popular as it was say last year but yeah just really great condition um everything that I'm showing you today and I'll be in and out of frame I'm totally unorganized this is just this isn't anything fancy I don't have time for it sorry um everything that I'm showing you I've already calculated average um cost of goods and it's five dollars i think it was like five five dollars and eight cents or something um so i'm gonna go fast guys sorry i just want to get this video done these are vintage kolhan i don't usually pick up kolhan they don't have a great sell-through rate unless there's something special about them these are vintage and they're made in italy so the ones made in italy um i i do take a second look at really nice leather so soft you guys it's like butter it's like butter uh very good condition ladies size nine medium they're kind of that like ox blood like that burgundy um just simple flat comfy shoe nine medium kohan made in italy these are probably from like the early 90s great condition um, men's Chelsea boot express size nine medium, very good condition, tan suede. Chelsea boots are just a boot that, um, men and women, uh, search for. And these are really nice. Very, I mean, especially for express. I mean, I mean, express is fine. Express. I said express. Um, but I mean, they're not like high end. But yeah, they feel really, they feel like a good quality. They're soft. They're not like stiff. Um, oh, this was a cool, this was a cool buy. I got all of these bags for $2 and they are those 
tea light bags. Like you could you see them like lined up um, at different events, weddings, different parties. You put the little tea light candle in there. So I have 65. I got them all for $2. I have them listed for, I think, 40 um, plus shipping, of course. All right, so that's that. This is just um, a little 90s little top. This is actually from my closet. I had thrifted it. I wore it a couple times, but the pattern just isn't me. Um, size small, very stretchy. Uh, little side vents. I have it listed for 15 just to try and get rid of it, but it's actually really good quality. has kind of that um, detail there along the sleeves. It's really nice. It's actually very nice. Um, so that, that's 15 This, um, goodbye. Anything cats, scarves, sweatshirts, t-shirts, um, vintage silky uh, scarf. I think it's made in Korea, and it just has all kinds of different kitty cats. People love their cats. Yep, so I have that listed, I think, for 20 All right. Uh, Vintage Belt Express still has the tag. Little beads. Um, so Western, Southwest, um, Boho. Festival, Beth Dutton, Yellowstone. <laughs> but yeah, I should get 20 or 25 for that. Cute little uh, vintage beaded, like kind of like, uh, I forget the, how you, what those beads are called, but they're almost like sequin, but not. They're like kind of like the long like rice shape. There's a name, it's just not coming to me. But perfect condition, just a little zip. Um, and then just the inside is very clean. It's just Valerie Stevens. But it was like $2. I should get at least $20 for it. I think I have it listed for $25. It has a good little weight to it. I mean, it doesn't feel like super cheap. Um, but yeah, and you can even you could wear it like that, like a little baguette. Cute. Um, you guys know me and belts. Belts are awesome to sell. This is a very good quality uh, cold water creek belt. It's leather, um, kind of that reptile print. It actually looks exactly like um, a Justin belt, a vintage Justin belt that's selling for like $50, $60. There's a few of them sold, a few of them listed. Um, but yeah, so that should go for $20. Um, extra large, cute little women's little boho music festival top. Kind of almost gives me like Lainey Wilson vibes, doesn't it? And then her cute little like bell bottoms. Really cute. It's new with tags. Um, the brand is nothing. I think it's just a little boutique -y brand. But yep. Should get 20 or 25 for that. This is a brand that is sold at Urban Outfitters. This little top like ruffle um, crochet. The back is smocked. So nice and stretchy, um, kind of that tiered, layered bottom. And it is a size medium. And there's the brand, the label, Zanana. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but it's like a khaki green, adjustable straps. It's in pristine condition. Yeah, super cute. Should get at least 20 or 25. Probably 20 if I'm being real. <laughs> I'd like to get 25. Um, vintage, authentic vintage, 19, probably 70s, late 60s, early 70s. Um, really cute. Look at the collar. It's like this ruffle, like high neck collar. And then it has the pussy bow. And then it buttons at the chest. 
elastic around the waist and it and it had the the waist tie so unusual right um super cute sleeves has that same ruffle as the neck and it's about knee length really cute so i have that listed for 60 your best offer i'm i'll definitely you guys know my goal is to have an average sale price of $30. That should definitely hit the $30. I'm hoping to get $40, um, but I have it listed for $60. Here's another vintage piece. This is like a caftan, 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 um, with like a kimono style sleeve, uh, kind of like Mrs. Roper vibes, right? <laughs> super long, super long maxi. Uh, it has a slit in the front. It has that slit. And then it zips. It zips down. Not all the way down, but pretty far. Yeah. It says medium. It's Barbizon. <laughs> but um, it could definitely fit a large or extra large. So, yep. So that was a great find. And I, I think I have that listed for 60 and, again, 30 to 40 Um All right. This is not a bad buy per se, because it's a gorgeous dress. It's a true uh, wrap dress, which people love. Um, it's maxi length, which is which is great. Um, cute little three quarter sleeve, super long. I mean, so if someone's tall, they'll definitely be able to. Let me. I'm standing on my tippy toes and. Yeah, it's really long, really pretty, but it's just New York and company. So nothing crazy. Um, but I think it'll do well because I think people search out maxi dresses. Um, they search wrap dresses. Um, this would be so pretty for like a wedding or yeah. Um, it's a size medium and it's a women's medium, not like a junior's. Uh, medium so all right we're almost getting to my bad buys I have two men's shirts here first time I've ever found this brand and of course you know this these were really hot a few years ago but Robert Graham very expensive shirts they're known for just their real loud um, different patterns and you know, one pattern on the shirt and then the cuff. Um, when you flip the cuff, it has another pattern. So you can wear it like that, right? Or you can flip the cuff and then it has that floral pattern. Um, these are uh, these are large, size large. And I lotted the two up. No, no flaws or anything. Um, and then here's the other one. Sorry, guys, that I'm moving so fast. I'm just trying to get this done so I can go feed the doggies. So, again, Robert Graham. And just a stripe. And then the cuff is kind of a, kind of like a paisley design. Kind of geometric, floral-ish. Yep, size large. Um, so I have these lotted together for $49.99. Uh, and I should get just about that. All right, now the bad buys. Did I already show? Yeah, I showed those. Okay, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these. These are four men's shirts. So I saw the Robert Graham shirts. I got all excited. I'm like, okay, calm down. But then I started grabbing all these other shirts. And then I took my cart and I started looking stuff up and I put some back. I should have put all these back because my average cost of goods this day was $5. This shirt is only going to sell for maybe $15. This is Bugachi, I think is how you say it. I'm not sure. Mm -mm. I mean, nice shirt. Um, but just the resale market, it's just not there. 
another shirt that was so hard for me to pass up because I know this brand and I know the quality. Oh my gosh, it feels so nice. If I knew someone who like worked in an office or something, I would just give them the shirt because it's so nice. It's Fasanob and back in the day when I worked at Nordstrom, the Fasanob was exclusive to Nordstrom aside from the Fasanob store. Um, but it's a French brand, size large. If you're just listening and not watching, F-A-C-O-N-N-A-B-L-E, Fasanab. This is a size large. It's um, like tan, different like kind of browns. You know, it kind of has that Burberry uh, kind of vibe. <clears throat> But anyway, designed in France, made in Hong Kong. I think this is actually vintage, but really nice. It just feels so high quality. It's so nice. So I'm hoping to get 25 for this one. So this isn't such a bad buy, but I don't know how many people are searching out Fasanab, but we'll see. And then this is a great shirt. This is Pearl Snap. It's a Huntington Beach, California brand, Coastal. Um, really nice. It's in excellent condition. Pearl snap. People love that. Um, but the resale market just isn't there. I might get $15, maybe 20. And again, these were all $5. And then this is that, <clears throat> excuse me, Bugachi brand. Same as that pink one. All of these are large. I thought about just lotting all these shirts up and selling them that way, but I'm I'm going to try to do them individual. This is like a really lightweight corduroy. It's just really lightweight. It's nice, but I might get 15 for it. Um, This is a decent buy. This is Under Armour 2X Loose Fit Heat Gear, and this will... This will sell for 25. This is in perfect condition. It's like a really nice gray blue quarter zip. So that was a good buy. That'll get me 25. And then a couple more things. This is Affliction men's jeans, size 31. And these are what, the Cooper? Yeah, size 31. Very distressed. Oh, I'm going to have to, oh, it's starting to rip. See right there? I mean, it's not ripping, but it's thin there. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just note that on the listing. But they'll they'll sell. Um, they're, they're very high quality, so it's not like they're just going to, like, rip. They're high quality. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's look. Yeah, they should be fine. Um, I'll get 35 for these maybe. If they were if if I if they weren't so worn, I could definitely get 45 or 50, but I should get 35, maybe even 40. So that's that was a good that was a good buy. And this is a tabasco tobacco <laughs> basket. Um and this was only two dollars and it's signed. It's that um, workshop, Hen Brothers, something, I forget. Anyway, it's listed, you can go look. But yeah, has the leather straps. That I should get 20 or 25. I don't remember what I listed it for, but it'll sell. People search these Tabasco um, baskets out. So that is good. I'll be right back. Let me see if I'm missing anything, guys. I don't think so. I think. I got it all. So I'm usually not that rush rush. I talk a little bit more about why I pick something up and how much, you know, I think it'll sell for and kind of all the factors that went into my decision um, to purchase the item. But I need to feed the dogs and I want to edit um, my other videos and just get all these videos listed and really just do better <laughs> at, at getting videos up on this YouTube channel. So um, again, it's March 2023 and I'm just starting out and I hope to really grow this channel and 
help everyone out there who's interested in reselling and just, um, you know, hopefully I can, I can be, uh, of help and offer some sort of information that will help you get the best items when you go to your local thrift stores. So that is it. Thanks guys. Have a great weekend.